everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a everyday natural makeup look for you. I am not a makeup artist, but I do enjoy doing my makeup, so I thought I'd just show you what I'm wearing um, currently on a day-to-day -day basis and um, take you along with a few new products that I'm using. And I'm also going to be featuring some false lashes from Isla. They are not sponsoring the video, but they did kindly send me um, some to try out and they're pre-glued, which is something I've never tried before, so we're going to see how they go. So these are the lashes that Isla um, sent me and you even got an eyelash applicator tool, which is something I've not tried before, but we'll <laughs> give it a go today. So these are all pre-glued because I specified that I didn't want anything that you have to apply the glue itself because I find them too hard, so I'm really intrigued to try the pre-glued one. I didn't know that this was actually a thing. So it makes putting false eyelashes on a lot simpler, hopefully. Um, so yeah, We Love Lashes is the name of the company. I will link that information um, in the Instagram down below. So I'm thinking that for today I want quite a natural look, even though these are so cool. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go for these ones because they look voluminous, but not too, not too much. So we're gonna go for these and I'm gonna try them on with my makeup look. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with the base. I've done my skincare routine, SPF, etc. And now I'm gonna go in with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer because I always need something on top of my skin just to give it an extra bit of smoothness and stop any hair sticking to my face. <laughs> and this leaves a nice velvety finish. So I apply that everywhere. I'm going out today so it's quite nice to do your makeup um, a bit nicer than normal I think. For base I am looking for a good tinted moisturiser if you've got any recommendations let me know. But for today I'm going to mix this Garnier BB cream in shade medium with the Estee Lauder uh, porcelain colour because I'm not like super tan on my face but I want to match my body which I fake tanned so I'm going to mix them together and give it a nice kind of natural finish, hopefully. It's gonna be a bit of an experiment. And also the Estee Lauder is quite, um, what's the word, opaque. So it covers a lot of freckles, which I don't always want. So I'm gonna mix these together and we'll see how we get on. To be honest, I don't love wearing foundation or anything, but I do have a lot of redness on my nose particularly, which I like to cover up. And I could use a beauty blender, but I sometimes just like using my fingers. I find it nice and um, relaxing to just use my fingers. That's a quite a good colour match, I think, so I'm quite impressed with myself. <laughs> and a bit more coverage on my nose because that is, like I said, my like problem area. Take a bit of excess just on my eyelids before I use concealer. I'm actually working on getting this mole here removed because, I don't know, I just feel like it. <laughs> and um, I'm more for like, I know a lot of my posts are about self-acceptance and things, but I do realise that it's okay to still like yourself and uh, prove yourself but while still wanting to change some things so it's creating that balance like being okay if like I'm still okay if the mole's still here but it'd be nice to get rid of it kind of thing like I wouldn't go into debt for these type of things and I think that's when it can get a bit a bit tricky or people get addicted to these types of treatments this is the um, L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in ooh, what shade is this? I don't know. Oh, 325 Bisque. Now you only need a very, very small amount of this and I always make the mistake of using too much. And here. And then I usually take like a brush just to blend this in, like a fluffy brush. All my fingers, but today I feel like using a brush. So I'm gonna go with that. And I'm probably being a bit more violent than you should be with the under eye area. 
but you know. Classic chin hormonal spots, which I can never seem to get rid of. Skin was so clear after Rakuten, and it still is, but I do get the odd bump. Okay, so that is concealer, and I'm gonna set it with some, actually, that's a lie. I'm gonna try <laughs> this bronzer, which I've had for so long from Chanel, and I've never quite got the hang of applying it, so we're gonna give that another go today. And it's like a cream bronzer, which I'm just gonna apply to the kind of like outer edges of my face. I'm gonna apply it quite messily, and then we'll go in and tidy it up. I think I look a bit more sun-kissed. <laughs> some down here while there. <laughs> it smells very nice. It smells a tiny bit perfumey, which I think in the past has broken me out, but we will see <laughs> if that is the case today. Maybe you should not have put that on my nose. So yeah, I'm just gonna blend, keep blending this out. I might have to edit out <laughs> some of the blending because it might take a long time. You could use a sponge for this, and I'm sure a makeup artist would. But like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm using a brush. I do love a bit of a chiselling on the jawline. Which I don't do every day, but it is nice to have that extra bit of a... I think that's turned out pretty well actually. So I'm gonna do uh, my powder next, and this is a Laura Mercier, my favorite translucent powder, which I like live in basically. And if I'm not doing foundation and concealer, I will always apply this without a doubt. I'm really not into highlighter, like I just don't think my skin suits it. Um, so I'm not going to be applying highlighter on my face today. And also because I'm going to be out for most of the day, I don't want to get um, like greasy without being able to touch it up. I always add some powder underneath my eyes just to make sure that it's all set in place. So then we're going to go on to eye makeup. Now let's start with some eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury The Sophisticate eyeshadow palette. I'm going to, whoop, I'm going to be picking <laughs> these two lighter colours here and grab my MAC brush as a base colour. And I'm really into the pinky like um yeah pinky peachy eyeshadow colours at the moment. However, I'm wearing red today, so I don't feel like that would look good. Even for me, it's a bit too much crushing. Just a light wash of that colour, and then the brown one as well, more in the crease. Because obviously the focus is going to be the lashes. So we're going to go two over the top with the eyeshadow. Um, I also think that looks a bit more defined without being too much. I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs black liner and just line my waterline, which makes my lashes look a bit more um, thicker and it's quite a natural way of doing it. So that's that. And then I think I might take a bit of brown and put it underneath because I'm not sure how much definition I'll want after the lashes. 
And I always like to add a tiny bit because I say a tiny bit to a lot of people it might be a lot <laughs> but I just have a bit of like a safety blanket with um liner underneath my eyes I just don't feel like I look right without it but I try and like not go crazy with it basically my eyes are my favorite thing to like play up so and when my hair is quite dark even though I'm going to try and grow out the uh, natural color the I just think it looks better when you have like darker eyes as well taking a brush just to smudge that out because it can look a bit too harsh otherwise. I'm going to do my brows before I do my lashes, so brushing them up, hopefully getting them microbladed again soon. But for now, I just fill in the edges with this uh, Re Revolution brow pomade. Now it was better when I first got it, it's drying up a bit, but um, I still make it work. Because we know I like a defined brow. I just follow the natural shape of them and then it's amazing like what a big difference even the smallest amount of product can make. But I've never been into the pencils, I don't find them as easy to use. I would like to try the um, Anastasia brow wiz, but I've not gotten around to that up. It can take me quite a while to do my brows because I'm a bit of a perfectionist <laughs> when it comes to doing that. Doing them, sorry. Sure, they're all looking like sisters and not twins. So that's done. Now, oh, I wanted to use this actually. MAC like shimmery combo thing. <laughs> and just add a bit of Shimmer, lightness to the corner and after I apply my lashes I'm going to add a bit of this um, whiter one on the inner corner of my eye, maybe, because sometimes that can make me um, my eyes water. So I'm going to grab the lashes now, here they are. Now I'm thinking I should probably put one coat of normal mascara on just to blend them in. So I'm going to apply a layer of the Maybelline Colossal. Mascara, which is one I use uh, at the moment, it's good in terms of like thickening and lengthening, but I don't, it's very clumpy and I like clumpy mascaras, but it's not got that much hold. Um, it doesn't really hold the curl as much as I would like, but it does make a big difference straight away. So um, it is good. Tiny bit underneath because it's me. <laughs> and it's nice to have. few lower lashes to find. So now I'm going to work out how to get one on and then I will try and explain <laughs> how to do it. Okay so I'm not going to lie that was like a minute. <laughs> it was so easy. So you can see this one I've got the lashes on and they're really natural. I barely even use this tool to be honest. I just peeled it off and I didn't really have to trim anything. You can trim them. Um, but I think they match my eye shape quite well. And then I put them on. So all I need to do really is to blend this in with a black liner to make it line up. Which is kind of like typical of false lashes, I think. And yeah, really impressed. So I'm gonna put the other one on and then show you them both together. This is the final look with both lashes in. Close my eyes so you can see. And they're so easy to use, they feel really comfortable. I would say that you can feel them more so than lash extensions, for example, but obviously lash extensions cost a lot more. Um, so if you want something really quick and easy to use and you just want your lashes to look a bit fuller, a bit thicker, then these are great. So I'm gonna just blend, um, put a bit more shadow on, now I've seen <laughs> the lash result. I feel like my eyes can take a bit more now. Okay, 
and then make sure my brows are still didn't get damaged in the process of my lash application honestly I can't believe how easy it was so uh, and then I'm gonna use my do my lips so I like to put a lip balm on constantly <laughs> this is the uh, Raw lip balm of SPF I used this on holiday and it was so moisturising it's got SPF in and it's tangerine chamomile flavour and it's like a natural vegan lip brand which I think is important because when you think about it you're like licking and ingesting the um, products so I try where I can to introduce more like natural products um, this definitely isn't natural though, <laughs> and it's a, but it's good, it's a Caramed um, Enhancing Lip Serum and it's a kind of a plumping lip balm gloss thing. So I put a bit of lip liner on with the, um, which is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. I don't think my lips look great when I line them too much. For me it's more just a bit of like long lasting colour and this one's a really nice natural colour. I'm going to take a bit of this and just pat it on but it doesn't go stingy like some lip uh, plumpers do. But you'll be able to see the difference it makes probably. So it will go kind of like pinkier and plumpier plumpier is that a word? I don't know. Um, in time it takes a while for it to come up but um, you get the idea so I think this is going to be like my main look for today and I'm going to finish off with a spray of this Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Priming Water set and um, fresh spray oh, spray it the wrong way <laughs> it really does help to set the makeup and keep it um, feeling fresh throughout the day. So I'm going to put this in my bag and use it to um, spray myself when I'm feeling like I need a bit of like a refresh. So that is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm going to move it a bit so you can see the lashes in a different light. So yeah, I'm really happy with the look and um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I will see you next time for another one. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I always forget to say, or do I? Don't know. Um, but yeah, let me know if you like these makeup looks and uh, what you'd like to see next. I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.